I still think they're one of the most exciting teams in the competition. I just hope they can rediscover that way of playing that they had game day one. You know what? Playing for your country is a hell of a, a hell of a healer. And Kone, <laughs> if he can get out on the floor, that really does give the Cote d'Ivoire a huge the Cote d'Ivoire one. Then up gives it up. The Paula was aggressive going to the ring. Inside, outside. The open three is good. Off the, as it knocks away, cleaned up the mess, Sadibi. Kone with eight on the possession, fires up the three and just knocks it down. Takes responsibility for it. And a step back three early is good. And Daddy A, well, highlighted before the game. Cote d'Ivoire run and they're dangerous when they run, especially this man. Cody goes with a flow that doesn't get it to go the only other way. What if they were quick that way? They're even quicker this way. The bowler on the runway for the throwdown. Uh, Kamoko wants the foul, but I had visions of another highlight. Sadibi on the inside, tough finish. Thiago in the half court. Suarez has been effective on the perimeter. The power looks to attack and kick. Thiago thinks about it, puts up the three. Sweet as you like. Messi's cleared up, Mendel pushes. In transition, Kone, how quick was that? Danny A didn't get back, gets the two. Well, he was slow getting back. And Cote d'Ivoire still have that narrow three-point lead. Thiago with his feet set, might as well. So great job by De Paula. Then again, he is, he is one of the only players who played every single qualification game for Brazil. Of whatever Brazil are gonna do. To the corner, Suarez just about gets it away. Really, bottom of the shot clock. Diabate gets inside, goes back out. Zuzu ah, goes inside, top eight goes baseline. Goes with a jump hook, doesn't get it to drop. Great work on the glass. Bar with a pump fake. Still in this box. Santos doesn't think twice at all, puts it up. Offensive rebound is unopposed. Diabate will take the ball screen, doesn't really attack it, goes off the reposition, stops and pops. And they're going to now the long two as he towed the line. He is one of the veterans of this team, so I don't think he was lacking confidence ever. Uh, turnover waiting to happen, but guess who picked it up? Cedric Barr goes for the finish. Zuzu ah, doesn't make the three. 13th ranked team in the FIBA world rankings. Diabate. On the drive, big step for two. Wow. At speed, he's always at speed. Yes, puts it on the floor, close here, wide open, no one rotated. And he is just perfect from the three-point line in this game. Here go. Your body looking a little gassed. I would be gassed guarding, here go. A little float up, it's good for two. It's all too easy for him at the moment. Goes to the corner. Four players on one side of the court for Cote d'Ivoire in that offensive possession. A tough, tough make from Fofana in the corner. Benice comes off the pick. Diaz for three is long. There's a rebound momentum on the far side, off the glass for two. Wait for the screen away for Abu, who's a little bit anonymous since he's been in. Now he gets in the lane, takes a little pull up for two. All under control. Wants a touch on the inside, gets it. Going against Diablo, he's just too strong, too big, too everything, but great help by Tape, but they can't get the offensive rebound. That one's okay though, it doesn't actually interrupt the flow of the game. Iago gets another layup. And Tape had him, Tape came over and helped. They, 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 Benici went down in transition, the ball didn't hit the ring, it was knocked out of bounds, no possession change. Doesn't matter, Iago puts it up early and knocks it down. Mendel, far side of the ring, scoops it, doesn't get it. What a rebound by Felicio, just used his length. Suarez has it knocked away by that man, Cedric Barr. Another play by him. Up the other end of the floor to finish it. And the captain being the captain. Mendel for the three, it is good. Thinks about it. Delays it, gets it inside, and Felicio gets the easy two. Seven point lead here. Simply got to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Great pass. Bar gets the two. Where were Brazil? Where? Yeah. 
You saw Huertas there yelling at his teammates, telling them to get in position. Iago stops, pops, oh, and absolutely fills it up from three. Felicio can't control the glass. Kone has it. Iago trying to gap that and help Huertas. as Kone goes up for two. They simply need to win the last minute 40 here. Kone's open. Oh, why not go back to him? Then now uh, all the work of the challenge just undone. Santos yeah. knocks the three down. When it was 49, it's now 50. Yeah, you said it. All the work of that challenge. And they know every single dead ball right now. Brazil have been going into a... Thiago will take the ball screen. Looks to go inside, looks to go deep. Inside, outside. Suarez for three. It's good. Great take, great first step. That's Santos with the two. Zuzua catches it, puts it up, doesn't get it to go. Offensive rebound by Sadibi, he's gonna go back up. Little foul line jump shot is good. Quiet first half for Amodu Sadibi. Suarez for three. Man, that's just sweet look. Just blows past everyone, kick, extra pass to Paolo off the bench, in the book with a three. Timeout for Cote d'Ivoire, four on two break. Abu goes to the corner for the three, it's good. Well, how about the youngin who has played zero minutes so far in this tournament? Another stat that will just say, oh, it was a steal. Yeah. The Abate, a little bit more urgency. Bula, can he go back to back threes? Yes, he is. You know, Yago's status is unclear. The Abate, it's a little bit deja vu moment for the Abate for two. The Abate again, looking to be aggressive on the dribble. Guarded by Santos, the Abate, second move, nice pass. Far with the mid range, jump shot is good. Santos, who really has grown into this role. Inside out, Wurtas puts it on the floor, in the lane. L1! Diabate. Fofana wants to give him a pass. It's a little static. When they're static, they're not great. Stops and fires up the three and makes it. The youngster. First minutes in the World Cup. Hesitates in the lane with a float up for two. Eight points. Are they going to rue those? Here's Iago. Takes the ball screen. Hasn't looked. Oh, nice pass. Super pass. Shona, we've seen this Cote d'Ivoire team. Kone, still only an eight-point game. Kone gets it off. Ofana for three. Off the glass! The first five minutes of the fourth quarter. Iago, Brazil hanging on now. Back low for three, knocks it down. Still don't think it's the right option for him. Diabate looks to push, goes again. They'll just pick and pop, though. They won't dive to the ring. The power is going to have to put it up from the logo <laughs> and knocks it down. And Iago will slow it down. Moves it on, gets it back, lines up the three, drains it. Fofana gets it back. Mulare, got to go quick. Can't put on ball handling demo here. Got to go quick to the lane, off the glass. Gets the roll. Steps back. Great rebound. Huge rebound by De Paolo. And they were, to say the least, challenged in that fourth quarter. Cote d'Ivoire closed it to a one-point game.